Hello Tubesters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. This one's an update on the Wheeled Vehicles in Military Use group build. Uh, I'm doing the Stommel here. Uh, S uh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to give all the, all the uh, abbreviation. Let's just see. Right, so it's 15mm Flames of War vehicle. Uh, I've used some c crew I can't remember if these are Flames of War or Plastic Soldier. I think they're Plastic Soldier Company, 15mm figures. Uh, they're actually uh, part of like the mortar set. It was like Heavy Weapons Platoon. There's a couple of mortars and a couple of MG42s. So I'll just uh, cut up a couple of figures. I haven't tried to convert them or anything. They are as is, except for I've cut the bases off the two standing figures to get them in the, in the stummel. Uh, it's just gives it a bit of context really. Sorry about the shaky cam, I'm just trying to get a different uh, view of the stummel itself. So we've got a tiny bit of work still to do on the, on the stummel, uh, I've got a bit of foliage to put on the front, still got to work on those jerry cans a bit and a couple of little touch ups and put some weathering on the sides of the vehicle itself. Uh, but. Um, I'll see if I can uh, turn it around just to see if we can get the other crew figures in shot. Uh, one of the major components to having it with crew figures uh, in a firing pose is uh, I forgot the sighting unit. The, there isn't one with the kit, you have to make one up yourself a bit like I did with the Hornies. So I've got to make one of those out of plastic sprue, or plastic rod, and, uh, and you know just paint one up and stick that on the vehicle. Originally I was going to have it either empty, then I was going to have it with the crew as if it's in a driving mode and I did try and look for some figures that I could cut and shunt, you know, and try and get to like be sitting on the sides of the vehicle and that and nothing really worked so I just went with the, the classic firing pose. Uh, it normally would have a four man crew, uh, the fella on the engine deck he could just be a, an infantier that's telling him where a target is or he could be part of the crew. Uh, that's just helping maybe with some binoculars or something to to help the the guy with his arm up ready to turn to fire. Um, as I say, I did weather the bottom. You can see I've on this uh, front tyre that's uh, in the shot now. Uh, I put some oil streaks on as if a, a, a gasket oil seal's uh, blown, and we've got some uh, oil uh, leaking onto the tyre. Uh, we've just got the two Balkan crews, uh, Balkan crosses, uh, on the side. I've got no um, uh, license plates for these, so it's just it, it, it is at as is, and I've got no divisional signs or anything like that. So, uh, although to be fair, a lot of the the vehicles that I saw actually uh, in photo, wartime photographs, and there aren't many because I think there's only about 88 of these were actually produced like this. Uh, they, um, they they didn't have a lot of. Uh, uh, na national insignia or divisional insignia or anything on them. Uh, I must admit they did that normally have number plates, but uh, obviously say I, I haven't got those, so we just have to have to uh, pretend they've been painted over or something. <laughs> so once I'd done that, I was just going to put it on this black background that I normally put it on and say that's it. And uh, I thought no, let's let's make a little uh, if if not a vignette, but a photo set setting for it because I can use it for other vehicles. I can even use it for me 18 millimeter. Uh, there we go, get him in shot. 18 millimeter Napoleonic. See, looks a bit big, not close in the camera there, but uh, could even use it to put a base, uh, put a base on there and photograph it. So let's get back a bit. The idea of this is, let me get me little pointing stick is some description. A pointing scalpel will do. Uh, I saw. When I was looking for Stommel pictures, uh, a lot of the time you'll get the half-track version uh, with the same infantry, uh, 7 point f 75 mil howitzer, something like that, I think it's 75 mil howitzer. And uh, one of these knocked out half-track versions uh, was having the high, it was obviously either just after the war or, or, or literally the last knockings, and it was uh, three Highland Division uh, soldiers painting their divisional in signature which is HD uh, in a circle on the front of this half track stummel I'm calling it a star I can't remember what the half track version is called but it might still be called a stummel uh, and they were just painting for the camera you know they're painting painting their in insignia on it 
but I was more interested in that one because of the 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 shop you know the the vehicle itself it was on a, a slightly cobbled road and it was obviously like an old medieval type barn Napoleonic era barn uh, which like in my country in the UK they're quite often built right up to the roads uh, you know that they, they literally follow the old medieval roads in a lot of places and it was really heavily a lot of this is just obviously put on well it is it's put on by hand almost literally by hand uh, and it's extremely lumpy and this one particularly was some of the plaster had come away and it got these big old not, not bricks but they were like big old stones so I've replicated that with cork I've got some very thin cork that I've had for a while the actual carcass front and back sides is I'd had a delivery of one of my many deliveries and I just cut up card and built this this structure up with an extra layer of card to make it this stick out at the front and all it was uh, in real life was a uh, timber across the front and really uh, not particularly well crafted timber shutters but they seemed to be shutting from the inside rather than the outside you had them sunk in with these these planks more or less and they weren't just nailed up to the door they did look like they were they opened out um, so that's what I've replicated there I've had this these two sheets of plastic I've had for years never thought I'd ever use them these are supposed to be actually get rid of that. these are actually supposed to be tiles for a roof and there's got they've got no form to them whatsoever <laughs> what I was thinking of uh, but they've made they've made a rough type of cobbled surface the uh, and this is obviously planks for you could put down for flooring and that and I've never used it and I put that on rather than I was going to make strips up but rather than that I've managed to mount it onto the front of the card and um, for once I've managed to you can see managed to get the holes in the right place for a change <laughs> never thought about doing that before and uh, it's one of my builds uh, and then just they had a they had some timber ledges you know window ledge window sill whatever you want to call it uh, but with nothing I couldn't there probably was sides I just didn't see them so I've left them how I, how I saw them uh, quite recessed I've done no side bits to them uh, the roof was really as it was in these old ones was really higgledy piggledy I mean there was slope though you know sets of tiles were, were it, it wasn't damaged this section of, of barn but the tiles were all over the shop you know they were they were thinning you know they'd come down slip down in places others they were more straight and that's what I've tried to replicate there because at the end of the day with these type of photo backdrops oh, so try and hit the other boat photo backdrop is you're just seeing the front you're not seeing you're not seeing the the sides at all everything else will be painted black the sides and the back um, uh, and I, where this meets here I'm just going to put a I couldn't do it at the time because I'd, I'd only decided to use this as the, at the last minute uh, I'm I'm just going to put some mounded up earth which this did have you know it's just roadside rubbish that had had gone on uh, and I might put a bit of scattering of dirt it, it wasn't a completely clear obviously loads and loads of military vehicles have been over them of German and allied backwards and forwards obviously the one I was looking at was a, a knocked out or abandoned one a German vehicle uh, obviously in the territory was then controlled by the allies so um, there you know it wasn't a completely nice cobbled area but you could see it was cobbled uh, and it just had some bits of road muck, you know. Um, and that's what you saw as a picture, apart from the three Highland soldiers, but obviously it's different, <laughs> different vehicle. But uh, I just thought it was a great, great, you didn't have to, it was a good, it was something you could build that. I, I even then, as I built it, and I was quite proud for the first time, I managed to get one of these up straight and, and everything. I even thought of turning it again into a, like a, one of those arched bits for the farm wagons to come in and out of back in the day and I, the, and I just thought no for this one keep it simple I mean it still took enough time just to build build this obviously you haven't letting glues go off and that uh, I did try and use uh, hole filler wall filler um, and I probably would do on a larger scale something bigger but I was it, 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 these were slightly thicker than I wanted really in the end 
and it was to, I'd have had to do multiple layers so in the end I just bit the bullet and used epoxy putty bit of an expensive way of doing it but uh, uh, but I, I specifically wanted that lumpy so I've put it on uh, used my clay shapers just to if I can see it's not smooth but as I was putting them on in sections just rolled them out with a rolled the epoxy out with a uh, uh, well in fact I was using this I believe uh, one of my uh, little handmade tools there and um, just put it on some talcum powder on my desk and, and just rolled it you know and, and put the patches together a bit of water you've got to be careful with water obviously and the PVA glue don't use a watery PVA glue obviously on this card because it'll just buckle and, and go out of shape um, and the, the blue as I've said to you before this blue foam is actually off cuts uh, if you go on eBay and put blue foam off cuts in you can usually pick up some decent bargains like firms that have just got loads of these off cuts make an extra few quid they'll box them up and sell them on eBay um, and they're usually roughly all the same obviously because they've come off the same project uh, and I've got a fair few of these and they, they, they make nice little bases so this will be the last uh, in work in progress update if that makes sense I will have this, if Joachim and Marcus see this, uh, I'll have the photographs hopefully to you um, by the weekend. So this will all be, uh, all be painted up and then there'll be a reveal uh, with the, the, the bits and pieces I want, the last few bits I want to do to the stummel and uh, obviously the, the barn actually uh, painted. But as I say, this is uh, obviously a license where the bricks are but they were in that corner exposed with plaster and they were this big higgledy piggledy just mounted on top of each other uh, I wasn't sure what the backing was I don't know if it was cobble I want to say cob, cob as in like mud and straw or, or what if it was just all of these bricks but um, I can only go on what you know the photograph I was looking at but the roof again it, obviously it's not a complete rendition of the same roof but it's that style of slipping tiles in rows individuals the odd it, it, it just it, you know it was one obviously the walls come along they've they couldn't even keep up with looking after it um, I'm not going to stick the stummel down it'll be loose so I can put other vehicles on over time I don't know if it will work with the one in 72s but it's given me the idea now that I'm more confident in I've tried building these little framed places I see everybody else doing it and I'm useless at it with my measurements and nothing straight but uh but that's come out really well. I'm, I'm dead chuffed. As it's taken, taken probably about eight hours in total for me to to do all this bit without the stummel, uh, just letting things dry and coming back to it and whatever. So, yep, uh, I'll leave a link to Joachim and Marcus's channel. Uh, please go and check those fellas out. Uh, they they both excellent modelers, and uh, they run a group build every year and a lot of us participate because it links in uh, the modelers out there with the figure painters and the war gamers if that makes sense and i've got everything here we've got models uh war gaming vehicle that is actually a kit it is a model kit i've shown it on previous ones and i've got others to do they come on sprues you have to but they are simplified obviously um but we've got figures uh model buildings for dio and vignette and uh, we've got a little model and it can be linked up to uh, Wargaming as well. So if, so I, I thought that was really good of them. They, you know, th they've tried to pull in people and the more people participate, the more people start thinking about what other people are doing and, and how they approach things and might have a go at doing something somebody else is doing, if that makes sense. So look after yourselves. Thanks for stopping by and taking a look and we'll catch each other very soon on another video.